Hey, how you doing? So, last episode we had our Halloween spooktacular in January. Uh, turned out a little... Honey, at this hour? Uh, um... A little scarier, but we got up to some uh, good map exploring and a lot of stuff I had no idea was up there. Um, in fact, we need to bring home all our legally acquired gains. Here we are. Where we left. Oh, game. No. Oh. It respawned all our booty. We worked so hard. Well, I did, Louis didn't do much. We fought off Slenderman for those legally acquired goods. Uh, there's our Mack truck. <laughs> All right, let's bring it on home, Louis. Without uh, our water pitcher and uh, broom. What else did we get? Rusted uh, plant waterer. We even had to fight off uh, the black man to get up here. All right, so back to um, semi-realistic play, I guess. Um, I can't even remember. That last episode kind of wiped my brain. Um, I think we're just waiting on canola planting season. Go around our augers because I can't figure out a better way to put them up. I guess we could park here. Where's the versatile? It's back. All right. If the cops ask, we've been uh, here all night. Uh, not uh, exploring anywhere we weren't supposed to be. Yeah. Mm, let's go see what's in the law. Yeah. Oh, we got a, a bucket. No, can't take that. What else we got up here? Hammock. Well, we already have a basketball. That's good. We'll probably need that later. Send that down. It's uh, stuck in the combine now. Oh, they should have just let this uh, be a sleep trigger. This hammock. Well, oh, it's a missed opportunity, Giants. Why wouldn't you have that as a sleep trigger? Uh, what's this? Oh, I can pick this up. I want to move it. This is my look-in chair. There we go. Can I sit on this? I'm going to pretend I'm sitting on it. Ah. Uh, Simba. Everything you see before you belongs to you. Oh, wait, no. One day. How's it go? Uh, I seem to be stuck on my magic sitting chair. Let's just, uh... Whoop. Okay. I think it's safe to, uh... Hit the tent. And... Proceed to January 2nd. It's actually nightfall, too. Not just, uh... Well, there's nothing to do, and it's 10 in the morning. Think I'll go to sleep. Alright, I'm proud of that. All right, January 2nd. Still leasing a bunch of stuff, but that's fine. I mean, we could cut grass. We still have these. I don't know if I should sell them off or... It's not a lot of grass. And then we still have silage. We, we don't know what to do with this. Mm. Just how many episodes... Uh. At this rate, it's going to be every four or five episodes. It's just going to be uh, a grass cutting episode. But I guess that's what grass does. It does keep growing. Well, really don't have that much. I mean, this should make pretty short work of it. Uh, let me just make sure we got nothing in the silo. Silo. This, what is this? <laughs> okay. Don't ask questions on the farm. Get out of here. Okay. Hmm. Let's see, what else could we do with it? I guess we could do hay. Gotta get a tether. Or I could 
sell off the giant mower, but I guess we could... Is this, is this enough? 400? Yeah, this is full. Uh, lift with your knees, not with your back? Or vice versa? I don't know. Just put it over there. Okay. Hmm. Well, with the uh, giant mower set, we should make pretty quick work of this little field here. And, uh... I don't know. I guess we'll uh, refill our hay deposits. Let's, uh, oh, are we still attached? Yeah, we are. Uh, hoses. All right. Louis, you all good? You got your winter coat? Okay. Safety glasses? No, you got your cool guy glasses. All right, you got your snow pants? All right, good. Riding helmet? Check. All right. Let's go grab this mower set here. What is this anyways? Fertilizer? It is indeed fertilizer. Put this here. Put this random box of unchopped sugar beets here. Giant wind roar. Check. Okay. I mean, that's not even close to the giantestest wind roar in the game. They have some massive ones. Not even mods, just the official ones. Some huge ones. Right, this is, uh... Let's just get this all set up here. Do a quick go around. Uh, and I think we'll have to. Uh, oops, a daisy. Ted this as we go. Okay. Not as we go, afterwards. Okay, let me get out of here so I can actually see what's going on. Okay, hop out. Uh, you're gonna have all kinds of hoses, aren't you? PTO? Yeah. I assume the same for you, big fella. Indeed. Alright. Well, all this hay should uh, come in handy eventually when we get our uh, cattle going, so. Gotta make some use of it. What? Not, not going down? What's the problem? Okay. And wait a second. Front. Uh, down. Unfold. Jeez. Okay. Uh. Lower mower. Lower mower. Uh huh. Turn it on. And the back. I have to choose my uh, swath controller. I guess this one's automatic. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, huh? I don't know if these mowers are down. Is this mower on backwards? No, you can't attach it backwards. Why is this? Okay, lift. Put it down. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Tumble speed limit, lift more, fold more. There's usually a thing that says like, you know, choose your swath if you want to put it into a row. It, it's not, it's not doing nothing. Oh, wait, maybe this grass is too short? Oh, okay, that grass is still too short. Fair enough. Okay, we're gonna fold this all up. And uh, I'm guessing it just needs one more night and should be ready to cut about the front. All right, let's uh, put this away for now. And this gives me an idea. I wanted to, I got a, <laughs> a solar powered shed mod. Was it this one? I did not know it was going to be $150,000. Crap. Uh, is there a different one I got? Oh, here we go. $1,000. That's more like it. All right. And it's massive. <laughs> um, well, shoot. We, we can't put this anywhere yet. The size of this thing, it's... 
like three times the size of our barn. What are you going to park in here? The sky dome? What's going on? Look, this is our silage pit. This just dwarfs it. I have I have no place to put something this ridiculously huge. Yeah, I know it makes an hourly income. I where exactly do you want me to put it? Can I just put it over this guy's land? Put it over his house here? Good. I mean, what am I gonna do with this? Look at the percentage of field this would take up. I would lose if I put this in here. Alright. That's a problem for another day when we have really crazy huge space of line. What's that deer doing in the road? Yeah, you're gonna get hurt. Like me, tripping on this. Yeah. All of you. Yeah, yeah, it's for your own good. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Okay, bye. Uh. Now, what else do we need? Gotta wait on this grass here. Let's see exactly how long we need to wait. Oh, yeah. One more night and I should be ready to go. And then we decided... Crops, calendar. We can... Jam in oats everywhere. And then, because oats seem to go like crazy, collect it in July. And then start planting canola. So we get a quick little turnaround here. A sneaky crop. Oat is by far the sneakiest of the cereal grains. And we'll get that in there. All right. And I think we're going to need to buy a tether because I kept renting it. So let's just see what we got. Got one on sale. Yeah, well, uh, that's nice. I mean, oh, yeah, all right. Tether is, you got your own category, I'm guessing. Mm hmm. How big do we need? Uh, 8.79. I guess for an extra five hundred dollars. Uh oh, what's this one? Six meters for eleven thousand. And no. Oh. Hmm. Is it worth buying this? Maybe we should just rent rent one. What would this do? Just keep leasing these things? Hmm. Less than a thousand. Maybe maybe we should just lease keep leasing our tether. Eh. I don't know what's going on with our grass yet to commit to uh, buying one of these for almost 20000 Uh, Okay. Well, it's almost 8 a.m. I guess it's uh, time to go into our tent and uh, sleep the night away. Uh, maybe we can upgrade to a house sometime soon. Let's see what's going on in houses. All right, we could get this little shack. I mean, shack's a step up from a tent, right? Or we could really splurge and get an actual house. Only one. Well, I'll sell the tent. Don't worry. All right, or we could just have a doormat. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're going to treat ourselves to a small hutch. How about that? First, we got to figure out how to get rid of this one. All right, tent. We're moving on up. Nothing personal. Uh, demolish. You're not going to let me demolish, are you? Okay, maybe we go through here. No, I want to demolish. Demolish? Huh. Well, we may be stuck in this tent forever. Uh, no, no, wait, what's going on? I want to demol demolish this. Is that how you do it? No. Okay, demolish this. This thing. Demolish <laughs> Louis? Should I click? No. Poor guy. Has no idea what's about to happen to him. Look at him. Standing there watching guard over our tent. Uh, crap. Here's, there's no way to... Yeah, I know there's only one allowed per farm. I want to trade it in. I'm moving on up in the world. I want a tiny house. Why can't we get rid of this? Huh? All right. Well, 
I guess no matter how well we do, we're stuck with this tent. <laughs> uh, what if these last couple episodes have been just the height of unprofessionalism? <laughs> the French farm, we have no idea what we're doing. The winery, we spent $300,000 on a winery that makes wine we can't sell anywhere. Oh, is the grass frosted? Nice touch, Johnny. I love crunchy grass. Still growing? Ah, thought that would have been uh, more than enough time. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Huh. All right, frosted cold grass. How about these things over here? Uh, still space. Still space for a couple more. How about the tomatoes? Tomatoes. A little slower. Alright. Let me just make sure. Scoop you over here, strawberries. You'll stay nice and frozen. This February Canadian air. Alright, back in our tent that we can't upgrade. Ah, there's Alaska. Alright. Maybe we should go up on the mountain again. Pick up some of those toys. I didn't know what they were worth. Ah, oh, man. We left like $5,000 up there. Thanks to that spooky kid. At least. I should go back and count how many creepy toys I just walked past. I mean, your thought isn't to automatically check any abandoned creepy toy for $1,000 bills. Okay. Ready to cut? Growing? What? It you're, you're being weird, Grass. Okay? There, I said it. Isn't it almost, uh... It's almost oat planting time. And sugar bee planting time. Huh. Well, I don't know, then. Uh, when are we going to have time to actually cut the grass? We're, we're on to March here. I mean... It's time to start seeding. Grass cutting is a luxury. A luxury. I invented a word today. Very proud of myself. Yeah. Well, it's March. You still growing, anyways? Ready to harvest. Well, gonna have to wait. We have a new priority. We gotta get Oaten. Immediate like. Alright. Here's this one. The red one. What is the red one? You're the Agromaz Falcon. Falcon Punch. All right, let's see. Uh... Oh, I should have kept checking the sales every day. You're having a big sale on forage headers, apparently. All right. Okay. Uh, where's our stuff? Okay, so that's a planter. We need to find our cedar. Our cedar is the uh, New York Knicks color scheme. That's right. Uh, I think that might be... Well, there's not that many places it can hide. It's either in the barn or in that little hutch by field 50. Oh, more honey. Thank you. Thank you, bees. Just go ahead. Keep them in storage. Uh, I'm not seeing anything in the barn. All right. Louie, hold on. We're going to uh, teleport over to field 51. You have a port key? There we are. Hey, and there it is. Nice. All right. Fire it up. I think we can uh, manage with this. The old Massey. Should have more than enough ponies under the hood. Eh, eh. Okay. Let's just scoot out of the way for now. So it looks like we just planted grass. Oh, that's when we were fixing the little field that didn't count as a field. What's going on over here? This is canola, right? Where are we? Uh, oops. Uh, canola. Okay, yeah, canola's doing its thing. All right, so uh, guess we'll go sugar beets in forty-four again, and uh, or maybe we'll go big in forty-six, but. It was uh, it was a bit of a chore scooping them up 
with the uh, front loader bucket, chopping them. Uh, but it did make surprisingly decent money. Uh, hmm. Maybe oats here, oats here, sugar beets here. Oh, 41. Yikes. Forgot about you. You're, you're a nice new big field. All right. Well, I guess, you know what? We'll do sugar. I mean, <laughs> that would be a nightmare. We're going to do oats all around and sugar beets in 46. And then let me just double check. So I'm not messing this up. Yeah. Okay. Oats are going to turn around in a few months. Grab them. And all those fields will be flipped right over to canola. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's bring the menu up here. We don't want grass. Uh, we want oats. Nice. All right. Lift it up because you're dragging. All right. Where, where I guess. Oof. It's going to take a long time to do Field 51 with... See, that's the thing you don't forget when... I mean, you don't remember. When you buy these huge fields and you're all excited and I have all this land now, and then you're like... Yeah, but you started with this dinky equipment and... Oh man, can I even direct drill with this? I'm going to have to cultivate the field first. Okay, let me just do a little test over here. See what happens. I don't know, I think I might have to prepare this field a bit before I... Oh my goodness. We look so insignificant in <laughs> the size of this field. Oh boy. Uh, this is like two time lapse worth. Okay, first let's just test. Just a test. Just a tip. Oh! Hey, stop! Okay. Turn on the cedar. No. Oh, I didn't put the hoses in. Why is the cover still up? Okay. Uh, close cover. Sir, your seeds are showing. And turn it on. Drop it down. Does this work or do we have to do something else? Nah, we gotta do something else. Alright, hold on. What is the status of the field? Withered. Ah, what does that mean? Do we have to plow it? Doesn't say... Okay, I guess we just got to cultivate it in. Uh, turn this off, lift it up. All right, so I don't think we need to plow, which is good because cultivators are uh, much uh, easier and uh, less horsepower intensive because they don't go as deep into the ground. So if we can get away with a disc arrow or a cultivator, that should save us some money. Uh, why couldn't Mr. Clever have a sale on cultivators? It's the spring. What are we doing with forage harvesters? Uh huh. All right. What's the biggest, cheapest cultivator we can get? Uh, these are getting up there in price. All right. So maybe we're uh, maybe we're renting. We're leasing. Okay. Let's see. You're both 108. We got a 12. 12.2 and a 12. Huh. And the cheapest would be... Same. 650! <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of horses. Even our versatile is... What's our versatile at? Oh, this... Close. She's close. Wait a second. Is this like... Uh, can we uh, upgrade this bad boy to 600? Let me see. Where where are you parked? Show on the map. Where did we leave our massive tractor? Uh, I guess you're one of these. No. Hey hey, click. Okay, it's a Landini. Well, where else would we leave a tractor? What's going on? Where? This is weird. Okay, there's the Mack truck. I know we left that over there, but. Oh. Oh, well. Where are you? Oh, you're at the BGA. Oh, you dropped off silage. We just left it parked here. 
Are we renting that trailer? Jeez, that's a waste. All right. Fire it up. Let's bring it on back. And I think there's a mod for a toolbox, about $500. And uh, it lets us repair and, if possible, upgrade. Check the angles. Our machinery. Ah, you didn't need that sign anyways. Uh, versatile, you are beautiful, but you are as slow as molasses. That's okay. When you look as good as the versatile, people wait for you. All right? I didn't have to blow up my eardrums, but all right, understood. Uh, this might take a while. Where are you going? Oh, that's going to go into my lane. Well, we have 1.4 working hours on it. It's pretty good. What does that number mean in the bottom right? Are we in 16th gear? Sounds uh, like a lot. I, uh, I'm not a trucker. Uh, I support their cause for freedom, but uh, I, I don't know how to change 16 gears in a 16 gearbox. All right, coming up on the homestead. Let's see if we can uh, just buy it. Nothing planted here, so we can drive over this. All right. And I think how it works is we put the toolbox somewhere here. I'd like to put it here because then it looks like we're actually working in the garage. Gonna have to scoot the Ford out of the way. Uh, I'm trying to stop. There we go. Probably engines probably uh, flooded with Slenderman. Okay. Turn around. Hopping out. And bring up the menu. Okay. Tools should be here. Hence the name. Uh. Well, we could buy a whole workshop for 50000 but that's okay. I'll take the... What's this thing? That's also a workshop? What does this look like? Well, I got all the tools and stuff over there. I just need this. Oh, are you floating in the air again? I learned my lesson with the winery. Uh, okay, just go onto the ground. Where are you going? Okay, you don't like to be there. You can be here. I don't mind that. That looks like a... Okay. Okay, it's on the ground. Step one, success. Wait, has that game never saved? What's going on here? Making me nervous. Yeah, okay. Gonna hit that. Save your game, kids. Been playing for more than 15 minutes, haven't I? I mean, I haven't accomplished anything, but I've been physically playing. Okay. All right, Ford, you don't need to show off. Just scoot on down the road, kid. Get the versatile in there. Pretty sure we rented that trailer. Yeah, put that back in. All right. I don't know where the actual work trigger is. Can't see it. I'm just gonna assume. I get close. Okay, we can repair for five bucks. Don't mind if I do. And customize. 583, 630, 665, 850. For free. For free. Would you like a free 850 horsepower? Yeah, I guess so. It's price is right. Sure. The thing is, though, I've said this before. Uh, the versatile, you can't connect anything other than this uh, hitch back here. Hoses don't connect. Uh, there's no PTO at all. It's no three-point hitch. So, uh, I'm going to try renting a massive cultivator, but uh, it might be a... Oops. Oh, hey, <laughs> you just wanted to show off? Okay, yeah, looking good. Okay, thanks, Louie. Check in with you later. Okay, we set the store delivery. And yes, okay. Let's 
get this big bad cultivator. Oh, it was a discount. All right. And so I think we agreed on these. Speed tiller. You have a faster working. No, you're all 18. Kind of, yeah. What qualifies you as a speed tiller, sir? Exactly. Uh, huh. Okay, well. Oh, you need uh, less horsepower. Maybe that's why you're a speed tiller. 360? I think that we almost got that in the Landini. Huh. All right, all right. Um, Mr. Clever, uh, the shop owner of Clever Motors, uh, we're going to work out a little deal here. Um, I will pay for this lease, and if it doesn't work... Uh, I get my money back and I rent one that actually works. Is that cool? All right, thanks. You're so much more reasonable than Armand. All right. Uh, let's go with the Kinsey Mocktail. All right. You know, it, wow. Was it always this much? I thought it was like... Oh, no, we were looking at a tether. Yeah, this is... Uh, that's... Uh, it's a hefty price tag, but... Uh, all right, if this doesn't work, though, bringing it back. Okay. <laughs> 850 horsepower. Versatile. The pride of Winnipeg, Manitoba. I thought Chris Jericho was the pride of Winnipeg. Okay. Easy. And... All right, I don't know. Anything? I can attach it, but... Hoses aren't going anywhere. All right, well, see what happens. I mean, if it works, it's great to have our big bad versatile actually do something on the Canadian farm. All right, let's. Uh, ooh, jeez, this field didn't look so big when I bought it compared to the others. This is a, it's a hefty field. All right. Oh, don't hit our Massey. All right, great. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess I should line this up a bit. Uh, articulated tractors. This might be hard. Uh, okay. Easy. Just... I'm, I'll miss that little bit. Let's just not... Okay. Uh, this is the power here. I shouldn't have to turn anything on. That works. It works. Let's see what happens. Oh, it works all right. Are you sure about that? Sit, Ubu. Sit. Good dog. Here comes the This week, it's kind of videos you want to watch. And Blockbuster Video enforces your wishes. Are you sure about that?